Honigsee, an inconspicuous little village of 500 souls in northern Germany. The village in Schleswig-Holstein has put a biogas plant online. It originally generated eco-friendly energy for private profit only. The latest venture was launched when 50 locals pooled together to invest over half a million euros to use the excess heat generated by the plant. The collective was set up to enable this close-knit village community to realize a project that a big energy company did not consider feasible. That idea was to supply all or almost all homes with heat created as a byproduct from green electricity. For Mayor Alexander Nikolaisen, the cooperative is a windfall. Instead of overstraining the village's budget, the citizens invested their own money. The co-op provides his home with heat as well. It runs administration, including billing, maintains the equipment reliably, and has stable prices. It's run on sound business principles, but with democratic rules. Each co-op member is a part owner with a single vote. The big investors can't outvote the little guys on decisions that have to be made. Everyone's opinion has the same weight. Professor Markus Hanisch is researching the history of cooperatives, where they're documented, in the German Historical Museum in Berlin. In the 19th century, farmers without land, craftsmen and laborers joined forces with the same goal that co-ops have today. I think part of the point of a cooperative is citizen participation, having a voice. And I think it's also about the experience that things can be achieved better together than every man for himself. Strength in unity is an idea that, during the financial crisis, has led many bank customers to co-op banks. Instead of seeking profits from speculation, co-op members seek to invest in the real economy. Whether they're rich or poor, each has a vote and can help determine what their bank invests in. This brochure promises to maximize values and not merely profits. Everyone who deposits money in the GLS bank can express an opinion on how it should be used. For example, put it into free schools or in green energy. So there is very direct feedback. And then the bank says, OK, if I'm to work with this money, I need my own capital. And I acquire my customers as co-op members. The cooperative building company Bremer Höhe in Berlin doesn't speculate and has no part in the real estate bubble. It provides children room to play. The Cartolano family has lived here since 2004. When their five-year-old daughter Amelie fell seriously ill, the co-op helped them reconstruct their apartment to fit her needs. That the rent is only 800 euros helps as well. If this apartment were a few hundred meters away, we couldn't afford it. The co-op members in Honigsee know the other side of joint ventures, shared risks. The newest project is a 300,000 euro solar energy facility. It took two years of exhausting meetings. Being a co-op member requires stamina. The first and second phase went smoothly. The third phase, there were construction defects and problems with implementation. And you have to explain everything to a group of 50 members who are taking a risk together. Maybe not everyone wants it, but they all carry it together. But in Honigsee, the group is sticking together. And that's because the co-op members still have a lot of plans.